everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Shirley Michelle, aka Curls by Shirls. Today I am going to show you how I style my hair after I cut my own hair. So this video is actually pretty old. I filmed it in around September and I just haven't had the time to edit and post. Um, so today you will finally get the video of how I style my hair after I did my DIY haircut with the Rizzo-ish rounded look. Now normally I would actually apply all the product beforehand, before sectioning my hair, but I sometimes just get like a brain fart when I'm making these videos and I'll do things that I normally wouldn't do. So here I normally would have already applied all the product and then sectioned my hair. I also usually like to style my hair while it's a little bit more wet than it is in this video. Uh, sometimes I'll even style my hair straight in the shower while it's still soaking, dripping wet. Anyway, so now I am sectioning my hair. So as you can see, I parted the top middle section and separated that part and now I'm separating the sides into halves so I have three little ponytails in my hair right now normally they would be alligator clips um, I didn't bring them with me on the trip we are actually in Boston in this video and I brought a whole bunch of accessories for my daughter's hair but not enough for my own hair so here I am putting the bounce curl avocado and rose oil clump and define cream you don't need too much of this just a little bit it really goes a long way I am simply just applying it to my hair, starting from the mids to the ends and then kind of working my way up towards the roots. And I'm just raking it through trying to get it evenly distributed, but I will continue to evenly distribute it with my Denman brush. Now I'm going to pause right here and I'm going to show you guys a little clip from an Instagram post that I made a few months ago. So I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison of different styling techniques using the Denman brush. I'm using the Curl Smith Hold Me Softly Style Balm. On this side of my head, I'm doing horizontal sections styling with the Denman brush. On this side of my head, oh, never mind, I dropped my camera. On this side of my head, I am doing vertical sections also with the Denman brush. Let's see if there's a difference and which side do we prefer. Now, I'm going to go in with the In Shower Style Fixer Gel, not using too much of it because this stuff is very, very strong and does leave a nice hard cast, um, but you don't want it to weigh your hair down, so don't use too much. I'm using praying hands and then scrunching. Now I'm comparing the difference on both sides where my hair is not fully dry yet, but you can already kind of see a difference. The difference on the side where I did the vertical sections is more voluminous at the top, and the side where I did the horizontal sections is more, volum <laughs> it's more voluminous at the bottom. So yeah, that TikTok slash Instagram post that I made will explain to you a little bit why I do what I do. So the middle sections that are in the ponytail will be styled with the Denman brush in a vertical fashion. However, this part that I'm styling right now on the bottom part of my, of my head, this part right here, I'm doing horizontally. Because as you saw in my comparison video, when I style the bottom part of my hair in, in, in a horizontal manner, that part gets more voluminous, but in the middle section, for some reason, when I style it vertically, it gets more voluminous there. So that's my why, and here is how. So here I am with the Denman brush. I like to brush it through a couple of times before I actually do the little twist at the end. Um, and here we go again. All right, so I'm gonna just brush it through a couple of times just to kind of evenly distribute the product and get any tangles out. And now I'm gonna go slowly, a little bit slower, and I'm gonna turn the brush a little bit at the end, as you can see. There we go. And now I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a jiggle. And that's it, there you have it. So that's what I'm doing on the bottom half of my head. Um, so now I'm opening up the middle section where I will be styling vertically. But before I can even start styling this section with my brush, I have to of course put some product in it. Like I mentioned before, I forgot to do this as my first step. So here I am raking the product through my hair. Now I'm gonna start with my vertical sections. Um, I'm starting in the back. That's just easier for me. And here I go with my Denman brush. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit of water at this step, that might be helpful. Um, the back of my head isn't really as curly as the front of my head. It's kind of more wavy, so you're not really gonna see like the immediate like super clumpy ringlets in this section, but it is also helpful for your hair to be more wet. I like to think of it like, you know when you take a, um, a pair of scissors and you're like stringing a balloon to like make it, you know, curl? Well, this is how the Denman brush works for me. So usually it only works for me if my hair is very, very wet. So that's why at, at this point it would be helpful to add a little bit of water if you have your spray bottle. 
maybe add a little bit just to make sure that it does curl up the way it should. It's also important to note that when I am brushing through my sections, I am brushing them outward away from my scalp. This way you get a bit of root lift instead of it being flat and that'll definitely help you achieve some volume at the root. So now I'm just repeating the same exact steps to the other half of my head and it's literally the exact same thing so you don't need to see it again. And now I'm going to start with the top middle section. So for the top middle section, again I'm just going to apply some product and rake it through with my fingers. And again I'm going to start with the back section. So I'm going to start by taking small sections and again doing that little styling technique with the Denman brush. And I like to do these sections straight upward to give it um, a lot more root lift and that way I also am not creating a part in my hair. I, I hate having a part in my hair usually and so this way I can flip it from left to right and you won't see a middle part. So this is the reason that I like to section my hair in this manner and also style it upward and then I just send it backwards after I give it that little jiggle. This part of my hair also doesn't really curl like that so you're not going to see much of a, a result from the Denman brush. Um, closer to the front of my head you will see a little bit more definition. My curls are a bit tighter closer to my face. So here my curls are getting a little bit tighter and then this is like the bang area where I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm not going to let them fall forward per se. They will eventually fall forward after it's dry but I like to just put everything back and away from my face. It's just easier to deal with it that way in my opinion. Now I'm going in with Curl Smith In Shower Style Fixer which like you saw in my TikTok slash Instagram video is a very strong gel so you really don't need to use a lot of it. Sometimes I'll use a little too much and I'll regret it but it's always just really hard for me to like not use a lot and I just have to like figure out a balance. So here I am using the praying hands technique which to you might seem like okay what was the point of doing all of that with the Denman brush because now I'm just like ruining it. I don't find that I'm ruining it. I feel like this praying hands technique will kind of smooth the gel onto the hair and kind of keep that same pattern while smoothing down any potential frizz. And so here I am trying to continue that praying hands technique in the middle of my hair where, you know, usually you don't really get too much distribution. And I'm trying to be a little bit mindful of making sure that all of my hair has at least a little bit of the gel. Um, so that it does have hold throughout and that way it'll last longer. So after you've applied your gel, and you're probably using a different gel and a different styling cream, I think as long as you're using a styling cream and a gel, you should be good. You know, you want something that has strong to medium hold if you have a similar hair type to mine. Um, and then at this point, I'm just giving it a little scrunch. This step is completely optional, by the way. Some people don't like to scrunch their hair at all. Some people feel like scrunching their hair will actually increase the frizz, so that, again, it's up to you. Now what I'm doing is I'm grabbing a plastic shower cap, and I'm just going to put my hair into the shower cap. I'm flipping my hair upside down, and I'm just gathering it all up at the top of my head, and just letting it sit in this shower cap for at least 10 minutes. I'm not sure how long I actually let it sit for in this video because I was in Boston and I probably, you know, I was doing my makeup, looking for an outfit, I'm not sure. So, you know, sometimes you can wet plop for like 10 minutes, maybe an hour. It really doesn't matter. The whole point though is that your hair is all gathered up at the top and this way gravity isn't pulling it down. So it's supposed to increase your definition by making your curls a little bit bouncier and springier and just tighter all around and I honestly do believe that this works and it definitely works for me. Now what I'm gonna do is just dry my hair. I'm gonna diffuse my hair. I like to diffuse my hair just so that it happens faster but you can always air dry your hair if that is your preference. It just takes so long so for me I prefer to diffuse. So now that I'm done diffusing my hair I am simply gonna flip my hair over and give it a nice Fluff. I'm shaking out my roots. I'm lifting them. I actually lost my hair pick prior to this video So I mean if you have a hair pick use your hair pick to lift your roots uh, And now I'm gonna go ahead and start separating curl clumps You might want to use an oil on your fingertips to do this so that you can minimize any frizz 
I'm not using an oil in this video just because we were in Boston, like I said, and I wanted to pack light, so I didn't pack an oil. I was also just really scared that the oil would leak into the rest of my belongings, and I just really didn't want that. So here I am again, lifting my roots, making sure that I'm creating more volume at the root, shaking out my roots, and you know, you might want to keep this step at a minimum if you don't want to increase your frizz. I personally don't really mind some frizz, so that's why I'm kind of doing a, a little bit of a crazy fluff and shake. And I'm just going to continue to fluff and shake and separate until it looks how I want it to look. And so that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the video, and that's pretty much it. So please let me know what you think about my styling routine. I am on the fence about whether I want to cut my hair to this length again or not. Especially after watching this video, I kind of like really want to cut my hair to this length again. Um, so I don't know. Let me know what you think. What should I do? Should I cut it? Should I let it grow to see how long I can get it? I am on the fence about that. Um, yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, use my affiliate links below if you're looking to purchase any of the tools that I use or any of the things that I'm using in my videos. I'll always link them in the description below. And as always, thank you again for stopping by. Bye. By the way, the rest of this video is just me continuing to crazy fluff and shake and awkwardly posing and constantly saying bye because I wasn't sure which clip I was going to use. So I'm just going to leave this all here for you all to enjoy how awkward and weird I can be. See you next time.